Iron deficiency anemia is a common condition that occurs when there is a lack of iron in the body. Iron is an essential mineral that is required for the production of hemoglobin, a protein found in red blood cells that carries oxygen throughout the body. When there is not enough iron, the body cannot produce enough hemoglobin, leading to a decrease in the number of red blood cells and a decrease in the amount of oxygen delivered to tissues and organs. This can lead to a range of symptoms, including fatigue, weakness, shortness of breath, dizziness, headache, pale skin, difficulty concentrating, and brittle or spoon-like nails. Iron deficiency anemia can be caused by a variety of factors. First of all, iron is found in foods such as red meat, poultry, fish, beans, and leafy green vegetables. If a person does not consume enough iron-rich foods, they may become deficient in iron. Blood loss can occur due to heavy menstrual periods, bleeding in the gastrointestinal tract, from conditions such as ulcers, polyps, or cancer, or other sources of bleeding. Pregnant women require more iron to support the growth and development of the fetus, and may become iron deficient if they do not consume enough iron or if they experience significant blood loss during childbirth. Certain conditions, such as celiac disease or inflammatory bowel disease, can also interfere with the body's ability to absorb iron from food. To diagnose iron deficiency anemia, I would perform a thorough physical exam and order blood tests to measure the levels of hemoglobin and ferritin, a protein that stores iron in the body. In patients age 50, additional tests, such as a colonoscopy or endoscopy, may be necessary to identify the underlying cause of the anemia. The treatment of iron deficiency anemia depends on the underlying cause and the severity of the anemia. Treatment for iron deficiency anemia typically involves iron supplementation, either in the form of oral supplements or intravenous injections. It is important to follow the dosage instructions carefully and to take the supplements with food to avoid stomach upset and nausea. Taking iron supplements can also cause constipation and darken the stool but it does not mean that the iron tablets are causing GI bleeding. In addition to iron supplementation, it is important to identify and address the underlying cause of the anemia to prevent a recurrence. If the anemia is caused by a gastrointestinal condition, heavy menstrual bleeding, chronic kidney disease, or any other underlying condition, that condition will need to be treated in order to resolve the anemia. In severe cases of iron deficiency anemia, a blood transfusion may be necessary to quickly increase the number of red blood cells in the body. In conclusion, iron deficiency anemia is a common condition that can be caused by a variety of factors. If you are experiencing symptoms of iron deficiency anemia, such as fatigue or shortness of breath, it is important to speak with your healthcare provider. They can help determine the underlying cause of your anemia and recommend the appropriate treatment. By addressing iron deficiency anemia early, you can help prevent complications and improve your overall health and well-being. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more great content. Don't forget to click the notification bell so you never miss an upload.